Hey all, my name is Krzysztof and I am working as a software engineer in Codilime. My responsibilities are write, writing and maintaining Envoy filters. Uh, today I am going to talk about extending Envoy with WebAssembly plugins. The purpose of this talk is to inform you about this possibility and present what I think are benefits of this technology in comparison to native uh, C++ filters. Um, all right, so let's start from the Envoy. So what, what is Envoy? Envoy is a 4L7 proxy. It provides many features, some of which are implemented as filters. Filters can be enabled, disabled via configuration, uh, and they are organized into filter chains. The filter chain uh, idea comes from the Unix pipelines. So it works similar to li like uh, one output of one program is input to another. Filter chains are matched against request and connection properties. Matching criteria are set by the user. And the simplest way to configure Envoy and this matching criteria and configuration of the filters in the filter chain and the filter chains themselves is the YAM file that uh, is passed to Envoy on the very start. If there is a need, Envoy gives possibility to extend the functionality with custom filters. It provides dedicated interfaces that developer must implement in order to, to build the, the, the custom functionality into Envoy. I will talk about the, uh, options for extending the Envoy with custom functionality in the next slide. For more information about Envoy itself, I refer you to my colleague's uh, colleague Ignacy presentation uh, blog post that is available on the Codiline blog, uh, blog page. All right, so as I mentioned on the previous slide, uh, there are three, three there are Envoy enables user to, to extend the, its, uh, its uh, core functional, its functionality via custom filters. Uh, currently, there are three ways to do this. Native C++ filter. So since Envoy is written in C++, it provides interfaces that enable developers to write C++ filter L4 and L7. Uh, and they are configured like built-in filters. So through the YAM file or some other uh, way that Envoy provides. The drawback of this approach is the necessity of the maintaining Envoy binary because the filter is compiled in, into this binary. Another way is Lua filter. I didn't try that personally, but from, from what I read, it is not suitable approach for uh, complex filters. Then the last and relatively new way of writing the of, of extending Envoy are VASM filter plus VASM plugin. Uh, it allows to this this combination allows to load pl pl plugin with custom logic into Envoy. User don't have to maintain dedicated Envoy binary, and she she he or she can pull official image with, with the with the with the plugin into the Envoy. Another cool feature about this approach is support for other languages than C++. For example, currently Envoy provides uh, SDK, or there is a SDK for Go and Rust. Also, user can run plugins from untrusted sources thanks to VASM security features. I divided it into two components where VAS filter is built in Envoy filter that is responsible for configuring VAS virtual machine loading plugin and passing configuration to the plugin and VASM plugin that contains custom logic. My understanding is that VASM as a host is a host environment for the VASM plugin. In order to work, VASM plugin implements interface, interfaces provided by proxy VASM. Proxy VASM is the standard. If proxy uh, Envoy or some other proxy uh, implement, adhere to this standard, it, it is possible to run such plugin in this proxy. All right, so uh, that's uh, all about this uh, last point. And now uh, I will try to answer why, how, how does the WebAssembly enables that, uh, that properties. So VASM is, VASM, so it is a short, short abbreviation of WebAssembly, 
is an instruction set of a virtual machine. In practice, it is a bytecode that is compared to native machine instruction by this virtual machine. The, the, one of the virtual machines that implements the, in, this, in, this, uh, this instruction set is V8. That is the building block of the Node.js, for example, or Chrome. Uh, thanks to that, uh, VASP is platform independent and all interactions with platform are, ha are handled by, by the VM. VASP is used as a compilation target of higher level languages. That is why it is possible to write filters in C++, Rust and Go. Uh, VASP module run, is run by, by VM uh, and is sandbox. So thanks to that, a uh, module can interact with the file system, network, and other operating system resources only if host allows for that, or VM allows for that, and it can be configured by the user. All right, so uh, now uh, I prepared a few filters, and, that, uh, and I would like to show you uh, the properties or the properties that I mentioned in the previous slide in action. Okay, uh, so let me start. Uh, so let me start from uh, from uh, the native native uh, Envoy filter. So this is example that is available in the in the Envoy's organization repository. Uh, so first first uh, advantage of of BASM filter that I would like to show you is the compilation time compared to to native Envoy filter. So let's go to the HTTP filter example. And let's just try to build uh, the, 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 this is simple, simple filter. So just I will show you the source code of this filter. There is nothing uh, uh, extraordinary here, just implementation of the interface that Envoy provides. So, so you see that this is pretty basic functionality. All right, so I just start the build. And as I mentioned, uh, in the context of the slides, it, it can take almost, uh, almost one hour uh, if there is nothing cached. Also, uh, as I mentioned, there is possibility to cache the, the, the build artifacts, but for example, in CR environment, that would require to maintain dedicated cache for that. So that is another complication just to speed up, let's say, CI. All right, I will not wait till this ends, so I, I will just go to the, uh, the, C, the, the VASM filter, the VASM C++ filter that I prepared for this uh, occasion. Uh, so uh, as you can see, the, the filter is very simple. Here is the part of the, of the uh, proxy VASM interface, so Every, every VASM plugin has to implement that interface in order to, to, to work with Envoy. So uh, yeah, here is cl class that der derives from, from, the, from the context class. And here is the, the function that, that, implement, that is triggered uh, on request headers. And this basic implementation just fetches the, the path from, from the request headers and lo logs, it, logs it into the Envoy output. All right, so let's start from the building. Uh, okay, uh, where is that? Let's go back. Okay. So let's start the build. Uh, I, I think I have, uh, yeah, uh, just some previous runs. I'll just delete that here. Yes. And let's start again. OK. Uh, the script is, uh, the, the script that I used is, uh, is uh, is basic one. It is just. Uh, uh, that that's that the, the, the that, that's the instructions that are available on proxy vasm cpp sdk uh, github page 
So it's basically uh, copied from, from the readme. All right, so let's let's wait a few more minutes, a few more moments. All right, as you can see, it was much faster than uh, the native uh, native C++ filter build. As we are building here only the, the plugin itself, not the whole Android. Okay, so let's start this. Okay, here is the Envoy, and let's try to send some simple, uh, some request. I also prepared uh, a short example. So test case is very simple. So it's basically curl on localhost on port eight. So that uh, eight thousand. So that's where the uh, how the listener is configured. All right. So let's try to execute this. Okay. And let's see uh, what Envoy shows. So as you can see. Here the Envoy printed the, or the plugin printed, printed the path, uh, that, that, uh, the, the, the path of the request. So for example, if I pick some other, uh, if I send some other, um, uh, curve. Yeah, so you can see it's here. So that's basically, uh, as you can see the, uh, the it works. You 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 can fetch the the information, uh, the request information like headers, and uh, you only need to compile Vasm plugin itself, and uh, and it can be loaded into the into the Envoy. And also just uh, just to show you the configuration. So as I mentioned in the slide, so there is the filter. In this case, it's HTTP Vasm filter. Uh, here is the field that enables uh, configuration that that you can pass some text te text textual value uh, that contains the filter configuration and it will be available during configuration time in the in the Vasm uh, filter or Vasm plugin and here is the VM config so basically I, I just set the runtime to the VA and path to the to the uh, to the filter that, that I built just a few moments ago. Uh, all right, so I will close that one, and now I will I would like to show you the Go uh, Go filter um, that I prepared. So similar story like with uh, native C plus plus filter. Uh, so there is also proxy Basm Go SDK. Uh, that uh, and also if you want to uh, implement some custom logic so you need to implement this interface so it is quite similar to to the to the C++ but I am not that experienced with with the with the go SDK so I will just uh, skip to the to the request header part so this function is called uh, on the on the request headers uh, processing in envoy and basically, it is it is just fetching re request headers and and prints them uh, to the Envoy output. Uh, this is uh, this is one of the examples uh, or a slight modification of the examples provided by by proxy Basm Go SDK. Okay, so let's try this one. All right. Okay, uh, so I will also remove that from some previous uh, tries. Okay, so I also, before the presentation, I prepared short script, just uh, that, uh, that's again, it is available uh, on this, uh, on the Go SDK uh, project page. So this is just basically uh, copy and pasting it here. All right, so let's try to build that.
yeah, so as you can see, that was really fast, faster than C++. And let's try to, uh, let's try to uh, run a few requests. Okay, so uh, Envoy started. I will just uh, show you the, uh, the configuration. So it is similar to what I used for C++. Again, uh, I don't have uh, any. I don't have configuration for this filter, so I don't pass anything. And here is the just uh, configuration of the VM. So runtime the same V8 and path to the to the compiled filter. Okay, uh, so let's try to run a few requests. Okay. I just need to, okay, it's port, uh, port number here, so let's try that one. Okay, all right, so filter return something. Okay, and as you can see, as it, uh, as uh, that, that the all request headers are printed to the output. Mm, so yeah, as you can see, you can uh, fetch information that, that Envoy provides about the request and make use of them. So also uh, the, the, there is much more ways to interact with the, with the request. Uh, so check the, the C++ and the Go SDK page for, for more functions that allow you, let's say, more, more, more interaction with, with, the, with the connection request, etc. Also, one uh, property that I like very much about VASM, uh, I will show you, is the safety it brings. For example, if I now uh, if I now mod modify uh, this filter, for example, I, I would like to crash this filter, and what what WebAssembly does does it uh, if the crash or exception uncut, uncut uh, exception occurs. So the only plugin uh, uh, crashes, or but the, the envoy is still working. So let's try that one. All right, so here is simple struct, and what I will do, I will just uh, initialize a pointer, and uh, or I will just make it some. Um, I will make it null, and let's try to read something from there. And the maybe to make it uh, more interesting. Ah, let's do let, let's keep it like this. All right. Okay, let me kill that one, and I will go back to this. Um, uh, to, to the folder that contains this uh, this uh, filter. Okay, I am in, and uh, ah, let's see like this one slowly, and pass. For example, all right, that one is correct. Okay, so let's build that. Ah, oh, that was pretty fast. Uh, did I save that? Uh, ah, no, it's on this, ah, it's in correct path, sorry. I will just skip to the proper one. Um, okay, here it is. Yeah, so let's try it the same. Oh, I even have something prepared. Uh, all right, so let's try that again. Uh, all right, 
and let's try to uh, refer to the value of the loop here. So let's give this our values. Ignore that. Ah, it's just the learning. Okay, didn't break the compilation. Okay, so let's give it a mom few moments and yeah, let's let's see what will happen. All right, let's start. Uh, let's start Envoy. Right, I'll just skip to the uh, to this uh, folder that I prepared, and let's run test case. Okay. So what's going on in Envoy? Ah, it's actually working. Oh, that's interesting. But why? Yes, maybe let's do this differently. Maybe I will try to assign value and let's do it slightly. Like that. Maybe it will break. So let's try over again. Right, let's start now. Uh, I hope it will crash. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, I tried to assign the value to, to the null pointer, and that's what, what, I, what I got. So uncap runtime error. So basically, uh, yeah, but, but Envoy is still working, and we can send more requests, but they, they will crash. Uh, but basically, Envoy is still up uh, and running. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, the, that, that's the safety feature of the WebAssembly. So, for example, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, thanks to the safety features that, that WebAssembly provides, thanks to its uh, sandbox model of executing the plugin, so one can uh, download the or use filter from untrusted source and it will not break Envoy or will not have access to to, uh, to the to the operating system uh, resources. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. Uh, that's all what I prepared today for you. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and find something interesting with this uh, new technology. All right, thanks.